Now let's get going, folks, and we'll begin like we will every day here on Menzoid Mornings with something that's really grinding my gears. Time now for the Menzoid Monologue. We'll just call it Charity Gate for no other reason than the fact that ever since that little break-in at the Watergate Hotel back in 72, it's now de rigueur to add the suffix gate to whatever the scandal de jure is, but I digress. In any event, what makes Charity Gate, otherwise known as Justin Trudeau tries to screw the Grace Foundation somewhat unique is that no laws were really broken here, rather just numerous moral and ethical breaches. But as Justin found out the hard way, it all counts when it comes to bad press. To recap this sordid saga, several months ago, somebody at the Grace Foundation thought it would be a swell idea to pay Shiny Pony a jaw-dropping $20,000 to speak at a fundraiser for the nursing home. No word if that person was under the influence at the time. Now, being a true blue capitalist, I totally get the idea, folks, that to, to make money, sometimes you've got to spend money. But how did anyone think that getting the anointed one to wax poetically about nothing for an hour or so wouldn't end up being a disaster of Ishtar-sized proportions. And incredibly, the fundraiser indeed proved to be a fund loser as the charity ended up bleeding money it could ill afford. Now, given Trudeau's privileged financial position, for example, he's got seven figures in the bank and he's got daddy's vintage Mercedes in the garage, you'd think that Justin would have done the honorable thing which would have been to refund that charity the speaking fee. Instead, he deferred to a response generally heard on elementary schoolyards, namely, finders keepers, losers weepers. Oh, that's class. That put the Grace Foundation in the very embarrassing position of actually having to ask for its money back. But what with Senate scandals and whatnot occupying the press corps of Parliament Hill earlier this month, Shiny Pony gambled that Charity Gate was a non-story that would barely survive the 24-hour news cycle. Oh, but how wrong he was, folks. Again, after all, this story had a stealing money from orphans kind of vibe to it from the get-go. And the story just got bigger and uglier virtually with it each passing hour. So what did Justin do to distance himself from this fiasco? Well, yet again... Shiny Pony played the daddy card. So on Father's Day weekend, Shiny Pony rhetorically asked, what would Pierre Elliott Trudeau have done if a poor charity wanted its 20 grand returned ASAP? And the answer is that old pet would have written a check faster than you could exclaim fuddle duddle. So to honor dad, you see, Justin would do likewise. Is your heart warming yet, folks? Justin probably thought the about face refund would be the end of Charity Gate, but there's an epilogue to this odious tale. You see, the Grace Foundation's chairman, Ian Webster, has come forward saying the foundation never intended for the dispute with Justin to become a political hot potato in the House of Commons. Webster says the board never authorized anyone to approach any politician on the speaking fee dispute. Oh, Mr. Webster, please, your charity wrote an MP basically saying it had been bamboozled and you thought this wouldn't get picked up by the media? Really? Look, as much as I'm loath to blame the victim, a big part of the blame regarding this fiasco must go to those running the Grace Foundation who somehow thought it was a really groovy idea to pay Canada's version of the hollow man $20,000 in the first place. How did the Grace Foundation believe for a nanosecond that they could even hope to break even on such an outrageous speaking fee? Oh sure, Shiny Pony has that ultra bright smile and that fabulous head of hair, but while that might excite certain members of the Twitterverse, it isn't enough to reel in the sort of paying customers who will fork over 200 a plate dinner fees. Doesn't the Grace Foundation know what everyone else does? that Justin Trudeau is vacuous by design. After all, when this kid does voice an opinion, he tends to wedge a size 12 foot into a size 13 mouth. I mean, look at his track record, folks. In the past, Trudeau has questioned if violence against women is indeed a barbaric practice. 
He has blamed oil companies and the West for central Canada's woes. He thinks that the very best prime ministers are the ones that are made in Quebec. And he, would, he, he even stated at one point that he'd join the separatists if Prime Minister Harper continued to get his way. Astonishing. Little wonder the poor twit has been reduced to throwing around superlatives like optimism, generosity, spirit, hope, compassion, etc., etc. There's simply too much damage control to contend with when he does offer up something of substance. But let's not kid the kidders here, as they say down on the midway. Nobody should expect anyone to pay big bucks to listen to this vacuous vessel utter such nonsense. The Grace Foundation should have read these tea leaves long before they offered this pretender 20 cents for a speech, much less 20,000. As well, the foundation should consider itself lucky it got its money back, and it should realize that it was only because this very dirty laundry was aired in public that a refund was processed in the first place. Finally, in light of this fiasco, if any other charity or publicly funded entity dares to offer Shiny Pony a five-figure speaking fee in the future, well, folks, as the old Scottish proverb goes, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. And that's the Menzoid monologue.